The Cover Sands Heathland project is a five-year project sponsored by Heritage Lottery Fund and the Aggregates Levy Sustainability Fund and as such it constitutes a £1.75 million project. Ostensibly it is to protect 950 hectares of lowland heathland in Lincolnshire as well as give the public opportunities to enjoy this natural resource on their doorstep. I'm Access and Interpretation Officer for the Cover Sands project um, and in this role I'm involved in trying to involve as many local people or people who visit these sites in actual events on the sites, getting involved in volunteer management parties. Uh, this could be from uh, work such as sheep wardening, um, which we have at Atkinson's Warren in Scunthorpe, uh, through to site cleanups, particularly on urban sites in town, um, to actual scrub clearance parties, um, bracken control, uh, bramble control, so a huge range of actual management skills um, would be learnt by these local people, as well as getting people involved in wildlife surveys, uh, such as butterflies, wildflowers, heathland plants, uh, birds, insects, and running events with schools, groups, uh, for people of all ages. So it's a very varied role. Um, and the aim of this job is to actually get local people involved so that it would be a sustainable management of these sites for future generations. Lowland heathland is one of the rarest habitats that is found in this country. One in five of the world's heathlands are found here, but even so, we only have 20% of what was present 200 years ago. The Cover Sands Heathland project is a five-year project uh, to restore and recreate lowland heathland in the area. It's one of about 29 or 30 projects now going ahead in the UK to obviously restore this valued habitat. Over the first two years of the project, We've put up 35 kilometres of stock fencing. We've removed 120 hectares of artificially planted coniferous woodland. Once the trees have been removed, this allows the heathland to regenerate within those areas. We've produced this CD-ROM, and we've also set up a dedicated project website. On top of that, we've purchased 400 Hebridean sheep and 20 Dexter cattle to graze on the heathlands and prevent scrub regrowth. Um, I also set up an open evening where people were able to come in and discuss with me what the plans were for the site. This generated huge interest and we had over 80 people actually turned up that evening. Um, from this we, we managed to get 24 sheep wardens and uh, a load of other people involved in actual site management and they turn up on a monthly basis to work on the site and on a daily basis they're out there keeping a check on the sheep for us so it's been a huge success. After 2008 the project partners led by English Nature have an obligation to look after these sites. Several of the sites have been dedicated as local nature reserves and many of them are SSSI's sites of special scientific interest and there's an obligation there to protect those sites and look after the management of them far into the future.